Some people say, thank God it's Friday. I say, thank God it's Food Pantry Day. Yes, there is a long line to the pantry today. And that's because so many people were out of power. All right, nieces and nephews, we are back. And we're gonna start from the left and go to the right, okay. We have got a whole pack of energy drinks. Oh, coolness, love these things. But I'm going to probably give most of them away because, you know, don't want to add written high blood pressure. Now, we also have nine waters. So, basically, we almost got a case. Look at that. I love the spring water, though. That's my favorite. And this is pure life, so I don't know if this is spring water or not. Oh, it's purified. Yeah, purified water. Check this out. We got some peanut butter and jelly. I should show you how to make my peanut butter and jelly little tart things. You put some bread together, you fry them up. It's really cool for the kids. It's real simple. I can go show you how to do that. Now, ho, 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 we got some canned goods and we got this award-winning tuna. I'm going to try an experiment to make this tolerable, less fishy tasting. I'm going to see if it works. You're going to be with me on that experiment. We're going to see. Now, we got some Hormel chili with no beans. That's really good. You can use this all kind of ways you could use this with some cornbread mix and make chili muffins you know chili kind of like on the inside or over the top of them that is so good or you put the chili on the bottom and bake the cornbread over top yes 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 <clears throat> excuse me we've got some diced potatoes oh yeah oh low sodium spaghetti sauce you know i love that love that i got two cans of corn one is no salt added that is heaven in a can let me tell you and we got some regular whole corn corn kernel corn i can never say that word whole kernel corn <laughs> look at this we got some more pink salmon you know what i ain't gonna wait for dean on the scene if he ain't gonna come on and do this video i want to see the seafood cakes he's doing Yes, I'm going to do mine, and you'll love them. They're really good. We got two cans of pears. Jay loves this stuff. Ooh, and natural juice. You know what? I know what to do with this. I'm going to make a sorbet with it. I am. You can freeze these up and make them into like popsicles or sorbet, and they are so good. Just add a little apple juice. That's all you do. You freeze them, then blend them up, Ooh. then blend them up with the apple juice and it is heaven we got some black eyed peas mm -hmm. we also got some more penne pasta I'm going to be doing some wonderful pasta dishes and look at this we got some quick oats I love oatmeal and bacon my, that was my mother's favorite my mother's favorite also we can do cookies oatmeal raisin cookies or oatmeal cherry cookies I love those or how about oatmeal with butterscotch like Miss Brenda makes? Yeah. I'm going to show you all my um, black bean recipe, but I've done that before. But I want to show you my white bean recipe, southern style. I think you guys are going to like that. Now, we're going to jump over here. Zoom. We got some wonderful fruit. Check this out. I got some grapes. Love grapes. Jay pops his things like candy. I'm so glad he likes fruit instead of candy. I've got, what is this, five ears of corn. Ooh, we're going to put these on the grill. I can show you how I do my Mexican grilled corn. It's really good. And check this out. we got some mini cabbages. Oh, I know just what to do with this. I have a mini crock pot, and I'm going to put these in it and make just enough for me some... Uh, a boiled cabbage overnight with a little bacon. Oh, yeah. And with that smoky flavor. Mm-hmm. Now, check these out. These are these mini, I believe they're mangoes. Now, 
They are delicious. I've had these before. When these ripen, oh my goodness, better than candy. These are amazing, nieces and nephews. You gotta, if you see these in the store, you gotta pick them up. You got to. They are wonderful. Now back here, I've got some dried cherries. These are really good for baking and lots of other things. You will really enjoy it. I'll probably give these to Miss Brenda. Maybe she can make some wonderful cookies with that. Now, over here, we got some Vidalia onions. Oh, these are right on time. I got five of them. These are going to go in my cabbage. These are going to go in my white beans. Also, you guys want to make those Greek-style hot dogs that smell so good in the fast food uh, places, you know, where you can smell them a mile away. I'm going to show you how you do it with these uh, and the green peppers and Italian dressing. Mm -hmm. We got some potatoes. Oh, I got a whole bunch. Basically, I got a three-pound bag right here. Look at this. This is right on time because I had no potatoes. This is right on time. So I'm definitely going to make a, some french fries or a potato dish. Yeah. I got some white rice. I'm going to show you all how to flavor your rice. So instead of buying those packets with the uh, expensive, uh, not expensive, but with the uh, so much salt in them, you know what I mean, the instant rices, I'm going to show you how to get a flavored rice without adding the salt, and it will be just as good, okay? Back here, we got some fish, frozen pollock. I think I'm saying that right. Alaskan pollock. Now, Miss Brenda showed me a trick how to make the fish not taste fishy. So we're going to do that together, and we're going to do a fish dish out of this world. Oh, right on time. Frozen chili, because I got a ton of hot dogs. We're going to make some chili dogs for the kids and have a good time there. Also, like I said, you could bake you some cornbread over top of it. You know, fill muffin tins with the uh, chili, then put the cornbread over top, and it is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then we got some ground beef. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. 73% lean. You do need some fat in your ground beef so it won't be dry. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Stay over there. Now, let's take a quick pan of everything we got. Oh, I forgot to mention. Back here, we got a pineapple. You know what? Since I got this pineapple, I also have a watermelon. I'm going to make watermelon pineapple juice. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's look at all this. Mm -hmm. We were blessed today. We were blessed today. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, write to me, Uncle Chris, the food pantry chef at gmail.com. Now, I also want you to tell me what you want me to cook for you. I got some recipes coming up today. Several videos finally coming out. And you will see what happened at the church barbecue I cooked for, okay? Alright. Big love from Uncle Chris. And tell everybody about me. Oh, by the way, we hit 2,000 subscribers. I am so happy. I know that's not a lot for some, but it's a lot for me. Mm. Tell everybody about me. I want everybody you can tell to subscribe so we can keep the channel going, okay? All right, guys, big love. Oh, Chris, what you